Hello bookworms, it's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm and welcome back to my channel. Today is the start of another reading vlog. Hey guys, so today is the evening of Wednesday, October 28th. So it's been a little over a week since my last update. It's almost Halloween. I hope you guys have a fun Halloween. I mean, I'm not doing anything. I just plan to maybe watch a scary movie or maybe some more of The Haunting of Bly Manor, which I am about five episodes, four episodes into. I'm about halfway through the show and I'm really enjoying it. I really liked The Haunting of Hill House last year, so I'm not surprised I'm enjoying this new show. I have been doing some reading over the last week. Maybe not as much as I would like, but what else is new? Before I get into the reading updates though, a few like really fun things that I've done recently that should be posted by the time you see this video. Tonight I just got done playing Among Us with a group of booktubers. It wasn't live streamed, but it was recorded and it's gonna be posted over on Andy's channel. I'll link his channel down below. He was the host of the game, it was his idea to, to invite all of us to play together and it was so much fun. I had actually never played Among Us before, but then once I knew that I was gonna join in with this group of people, a couple days ago, I attempted to learn how to play. I got some of the basics down, but I really had no idea what I was getting into and I was kind of nervous about playing tonight and it actually went really well and was a ton of fun. So that video should be up by the time my vlog goes up and so I will have that linked down in the description box as well. And then just yesterday, I actually recorded a podcast episode for the podcast my friend Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany has recently started. It was Bethany and me and Tori from Tori Morrow, who I also absolutely adore her channel. Both of their channels will be linked down below. The topic of the episode was science fiction and I had so much fun talking science fiction with the two of them. That podcast episode is going up I think on November 10th or a few days early if you're one of Bethany's patrons and I will link that down in the description box as well. So a lot of cool fun things that I've been been doing lately. Oh, and of course, by the time you see this, you will have heard that World Hoppers is getting a refresh and I'm super excited about that. And I hope you guys are too. Okay, so reading update. I have been reading Oathbringer. I'm not as far as I would like. I feel like I've barely read since my last check-in, but I know I've read stuff. So I'm this far. I think it's like 35%. I'm on page 430. Actually, I've read this chapter. So I'm a little bit past that. And I am not surprisingly really enjoying it. It has been a little more slow going than the last two books, but honestly, I think a lot of that is just me. I just haven't been picking it up as much. I think I said in my last vlog that I really wanted to finish this in October and that it was gonna be my main focus, but not too long after I ended that vlog, I realized if this was my main focus for the rest of October that one, I might not even finish it. And if I don't finish it, I would only have two books to talk about in my October wrap up. And so I kind of decided to switch gears and I do still want to finish this very soon, like not too long after October is over, but I decided to make sure I finish a couple more other books before the month is over. So I ended up picking up one of the shorter books on my TBR, one that I felt was pretty like October-y and <laughs> that is Fledgling by Octavia Butler. This is my first Octavia Butler. I am really enjoying it for the most part. So this is an adult science fiction horror. I guess it's more horror. Or maybe it would be considered paranormal. I don't think it's paranormal though. Anyways, it's a vampire story. It is Octavia Butler's take on vampire lore. And that's something that I always really enjoy, seeing authors take a different twist on some sort of mythology like vampires or werewolves. It's actually one of the reasons why I really liked the Twilight books when I read them and when I was in my early 20s because I, as silly as sparkling vampires are, I thought that was kind of a cool idea for why vampires wouldn't be seen in the sun and just like all of the the lore that Stephanie Myers created around her vampires. I just enjoy seeing different ways to interpret things and I am similarly enjoying the vampires in this book. I think that it is super creative what she came up with but also very terrifying. The kind of vampires in this book are very very powerful 
and quite scary to think about being like a human in this world. Also Octavia Butler definitely draws like parallels to slavery and racism and things in this book in the setting of like a vampire culture which I found really fascinating. At about 50% through this book I thought there was a good chance I would give it five stars but I knew it would definitely be a four star book at least. I wanted to finish it before today's update but I haven't finished it. I have very little left though. I have this much left and I am pretty sure this is going to be a four star book. We'll see how the very end goes but one thing that I did end up struggling with more so towards the end of the book is the so this book has the trope where the main character has amnesia and like doesn't know anything and so things are just constantly being explained to her which I didn't mind for the first half of the book but for the second half of the book it kind of got a little repetitive and kind of felt a little info dumpy at times and I'm starting to find that a little frustrating but I still think this is going to be a solid four star book when I finish I'll just have to update you when I actually finish it. The other book that I am still reading is Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. I am more than halfway through this. I don't I don't think I've updated my Goodreads. I want to say this is probably like 60% through it. Um, I'm on page like 310 ish. This I'm mostly listening to on audiobook with my husband and we are both thoroughly enjoying it and I'm still planning to finish this before the end of the month so just in the next few days. There have definitely been a few developments in the plot that I was not expecting and I just especially what just happened like the other night I definitely gasped out loud and was like what? And so I'm really excited to see where that storyline is gonna go and I have to say I'm really enjoying the Thunderhead. We get little excerpts from the Thunderhead's perspective. If you don't know the Thunderhead is the AI that's in this book and I'm really enjoying those bits and getting to know the Thunderhead better. I've heard such good things about this series and I cannot wait to finish this book and pick up the next one. Alright guys that was my reading update. I've only been filming for like 11 minutes. I don't know if I've ever done an update that quickly before. Anyways I hope you guys are having a good reading week and I will check in with you guys in about a week or so and hopefully I have finished all of the books I just talked about. I really hope I have finished all. I mean I will definitely have finished Thunderhead and Fledgling but I'm also hoping to finish Oathbringer by then. I don't know that might be cutting it kind of close but I should be a lot further in Oathbringer in my next check-in. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so today is November 13th, which means it's been, uh, I think, two weeks and two days since my last check-in. And that also means that this reading vlog is covering 
like three and a half weeks of reading. So I kind of apologize that it's, you know, covering such a long time span. But honestly, I didn't feel like updating you guys sooner because I had just posted my October wrap up. And I don't like ending my reading vlogs like right around the same time because then I feel like I'm just talking about the same books. So I waited a little bit. And honestly, mostly what I've been reading was Oathbringer. So I just, I feel like I didn't really have much of an update. So I kind of waited a little while to update you guys. I also don't really remember if I took very many like life clips. So I have no idea what, oh. <laughs> so I have no idea what I just showed you in my life clip section of this vlog. Hopefully there was something interesting. All right, so just a quick recap from like my wrap up. The two things that I have finished since my last check-in include Fledgling by Octavia Butler. Like I said in my last check-in, I only had a very little bit of this left and the ending didn't wow me. So this ended up being a four star read. The ending was just okay. It wasn't quite like as impactful as I would have liked, but it was fine. My favorite part about this book was definitely the vampires and the world building and the lore around the vampires and the way that Octavia Butler explores racism through the lens of these vampires. I found all of that really interesting and fascinating, but as far as like the plot, it was just okay. So I ended up giving this a four star rating. I also finished Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, and this was also included in my October reading wrap up. And this one had a really amazing ending. I would say that the pacing throughout the book was kind of up and down. There were some interesting things, but some not so interesting things. The last like quarter hundred pages of this book, I really had no idea where it was going. And the ending was super impactful. I almost cried. It shocked me. I couldn't believe what happened at the end. The ending was crazy. And I am definitely really excited to read the next book in the series. Ever since I posted my October wrap up, I've kind of gotten mixed opinions about the third book. I thought that I'd only heard good things about the third book, but I've had a few people tell me the third book was a little disappointing. So I'm really unsure what I'm gonna think of it, but I'm still very intrigued and excited to pick up the next one in the series. So this one, I think I gave five, no, I gave this four stars, but it was definitely like a four and a half, I think. Okay, and then moving on to something that I hadn't finished in my October wrap up, and a big reason why this check-in is so much later than I normally would is that I finished Oathbringer. <laughs> I finished this just the other day. In fact, the main reason why I was like rushing to finish this originally in October and then I just wanted to finish it early in November was because I really, really wanted to participate in the World Hoppers episode that went up on November 11th. Yeah, November 11th. I will link it for you guys down below, but it's spoilery for the series. So don't watch it unless you've read Oathbringer, but it was a Rhythm of War, which is the next book in the series that's coming out next week might already be out by the time this vlog goes up. It was a Rhythm of War predictions video. So we had a group of people who were all caught up on the series and we all talked about things that we wanted to see happen in Rhythm of War and things that we thought might happen in Rhythm of War. It was so much fun. I had a blast talking about Stormlight Archive with these people. And that was the main reason why I was in a rush to finish this. I mean, of course, also Rhythm of War is about to come out and I wanted to be able to read that right away. Anyways, I loved this. I gave it five stars. I will say compared to the second book in the series, it had some pacing issues, but there's a lot of really good world building and I'm just, I'm just a sucker for world building. There were a few character things that I found a little disappointing. There were moments that made me want to cry. There were shocking moments. I mean, it's just, it's a Sanderson and I'm a sucker for it, so... I don't really know what else to say, but I am very excited for the next book in the series and I'm going to start reading it in like four days and I cannot wait. So I have actually started reading one slash two slash three <laughs> more books. What is wrong with me? My next priority is this one. I am reading House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I have been hearing nothing but good things about this book and I was really excited to be getting to it. This is my next priority because I have a workbook club next Wednesday 
and I have to discuss this. And I am 66% through it. I've read this much. I am reading it physically, which I got from my library, but I'm also listening to the audiobook, which is on Scribd, and the audiobook is so good. I am really in love with this narrator. He gives the characters such great voices. One of the characters is this adorable creature thing <laughs> that all he wants to do is be a bellhop and the voice that the narrator gives this character actually i'm gonna play it for you it's like the silliest voice ever this is like a contemporary fantasy an adult contemporary fantasy and it's super cozy and a lot of people describe it as like a warm hug so it's not something to take super seriously it's set in like a a, a world similar to our own but where like magic exists and the main character is a social worker and he goes around visiting orphanages that have kids with magical abilities to make sure the kids are you know like being taken care of and stuff so he goes to visit the specific orphanage to check out how these kids are being treated and all of these kids have really interesting personalities one of them his name is lucy which is short for lucifer because he's the antichrist <laughs> and i'm laughing because it's just it's a little ridiculous and over the top, but it's like supposed to be. There's also a child gnome. There's a kid who turns into like a Pomeranian, but he's kind of like a werewolf because if he bites you, you get the curse too. And there's that like blob creature that I was talking about. And there's a drake, like a dragon thing. And they all just have like different personalities and they're just, they're super cute. And it's like a slow burn queer romance. I'm really loving it but I really need to play the voice of this one character that I think is hilarious. So remember, this is the character who wants to be a bellhop. That's like his greatest desire. Real when he stopped, hearing Chauncey talking inside. He peeked through the slightly open door to see Chauncey standing in salt water in front of a full length mirror near the window, a porter's cap on his head between the stalks of his eyes. How do you do, Mr. and Mrs. Worthington? Chauncey asked one of his tentacles lifting the cap as he bowed low. Welcome back to the Everland Hotel. May I take your luggage? Oh, why, thank you for noticing, Mrs. Worthington. Yes, I did get a new uniform. Only the best for Everland. I do hope you enjoy your stay. Linus left him to it. So that's like close to the beginning of the book, and he's not actually being a bellhop. He's practicing. He's standing in front of the mirror practicing, and it's just... It's the cutest thing, and I'm really excited to finish this book. I can see why everybody loves it. I don't know if I think it's going to be a five-star read. It's just so outside of, like, what I normally enjoy, but it is really adorable, and it definitely has five-star possibilities. So I kind of started a couple other things, but I haven't gotten very far. I have read the prologue of Dawn Shard, which is the short story novella. It's, uh, it's like 200 pages that happens between... Oathbringer and Rhythm of War. I wasn't planning on reading it before Rhythm of War, but everybody I've talked to who has read it says that they think it could be kind of important and that I should read it if I have time. And because I technically do have time, I have started it. And then the other one that I've kind of dabbled in, but I'm literally like stuck in chapter two, is The Sword of Kaigen. I want to read that before the end of the month. And I had picked it up because I needed an ebook at some point but then I ended up reading other things on ebook, like I just bought Dawn Shard, so I'm probably not gonna go back to that for a little while, but I have started it, and I don't really have an opinion of it yet. I Maybe the world building's a little bit confusing, but I'm only in the middle of chapter two, so I'm definitely not making a judgment on that at this point. All right, guys, that is my next check-in. Hopefully I can keep my next reading vlog, like, off, I don't know, off center of my wrap ups and stuff. I don't know if that really made sense, but you know what I mean. I, I don't want them to line up exactly because then I feel like my reading vlogs are kind of boring. Although I do try to give kind of like different kinds of information in my reading vlogs versus wrap ups. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good reading week, a good reading month. Let me know down in the comment section whatever you want to let me know. Have you read any of these books? Are you excited for Rhythm of War? Because I'm very excited for Rhythm of War. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. That is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bookworms, keep reading. Bye.